Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today I am filming another of my 100 easy cards. So, I've just opened this pack called A Little Bit Festive. It's near the beginning of the mini catalogue the Christmas mini and in this pack you get three double-sided sheets of designer series paper this beautiful blue check gorgeous real red stripes I love this absolutely adorable this paper I don't know what that's it's just stars I think like an antique sort of modern tree print so you've got three sheets six patterns and then you've got three sheets of die cuts now i've i've die cut all the bit i've die cut i've pushed them all out so all you've got to do is push them out they are absolutely adorable i'm not going to tip them out have a look in the catalog the mini catalog and you'll see loads i've just pulled out some bits to make a very very simple easy card and these do make card making easy i've teamed it up with greetings of the season which is an online exclusive stamp set you'll get it if you log on to jazzledazzle.stampinup.net and if you type in greetings of the season in the search it will come up for you it's a super wee set for the this time and I'm going to use this sentiment it's the most wonderful time of the year and I'm not there's no techniques really in this but I've just the cards I uh, card base I'm using comes from these sets now these are in the annual catalogue towards the back and they're very handy they're called assorted memories and more cards and envelopes the order number is 159234 because this is a really handy set so you've got 10 sort of almost they're a bit bigger than a6 size and then you've got 10 that are half that size so they work they're actually made to work with the memories and more cards but they will work with this set as well so i all i did was i picked out these trees because i just think they're adorable i love them and I've just come up with what I think is a composition that works with them. I have a white, a basic white layer. I did actually mean to cut a piece. I've got the new willow white from the scrapbooking range, but I didn't. I've just got a basic white here just now and a layer. Now, this is a different size to the size that we normally would work with. It's not even US size it's just a size that works with the cards so actually that is six and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches so it's quite it's quite big but it will work quite well with all the things in this set so I, that's kind of so this week at my cup and cards now by the time you see this it should be over but I'm just going to take the rest of this pack and the paper and a couple of packs of these and they'll let the ladies have free reign and then I'll have some really good ideas to show you what they did with all that so anywho I just going to layer that up of course I'm sneaking my night of navy in because that's part of my challenge to myself so it's got night of navy edge there and um, there's no night of navy in the die cuts I'm using but that's okay because they all mix and match okay now what I thought here was that this one is just going to go as it is and be stuck down there. So I want to, before I put the other trees in, I want to get my sentiment in. So let's just, I love this. It's the most wonderful time of the year. For me that is when it snows so i'm going to pop this i just want to make sure that i can still read it's the <laughs> i 
There we go. I'll close it up. And there's lots of wee gold um, star die cuts and things as well. So I've la laid out a couple. So as I say, they're all in the bag and the ladies will just get free reign to just design and do what they please, really. I'll give them glue and the sentiment set and just let them go for it. Now this, that tree is catching the edge of the W, but your brain corrects that when you look at it, or at least mine does. And then I just want to pop this onto the... So I'd be interested to know how many cards in total anyone has made. Who's ha bought this set? And how many cards have you made so far? I think it'd be good for tags as well as cards and then I'm just going to these are just going to go on here whatever yeah so I'm going to pop it onto the card base Again, I'm not doing lots of dimensionals because postage has gone up a fair bit in the UK. And I'm just being a wee bit cautious that I don't have to pay large letter on my cards this year. And I do want to still pop, you know, it's still important to send cards out. I need a bit of dimensional in on the bottom of that. So where are they? I had them out. Oh, I'll just get some more. Maybe I put them away. That'd be. I do challenge myself sometimes like that and go and put things away. Just put one at the very bottom here. That work? Yeah, that will work. So, and then some glue. And then this one, what do I want it down there? Yeah, I'm going to pop that one down there, but I'm just going to put some wet glue on this one. I'm not going to, as for the reasons I've just told you, <laughs> I'm going to put what's up here. Oh, it'll be all right. Overlapping quite a bit there. So it's just nice just to play with all these lovely bits. Just like lay them out and see what inspires you. I think it's a fantastic set. I'm just going to take this and simply pop it there. Now, I'm just going to glue it. I just want a wee dot of glue. Oops. And there you have it. 
I'll pop this one back in the bag. So ladies have got loads to play with tomorrow. I will take them some white layers and things so they can decide for themselves. And sometimes it's nice just to play with something so simple. So there you have it, another easy card. But isn't that stylish? I really think I like that. So thank you so much. If you've not already subscribed, please do subscribe. Please press the bell icon to get notified when I'm coming on again. And please share this out with anyone you think who would enjoy seeing all these easy cards. <laughs> thank you so much. See you soon.